everyone, and welcome to the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen, sponsored by TSET. I am here with Chef Val today from OUT School of Community Medicine. Always a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. And we are into summer. We are. So tell us what we're making today. So we're going to do a spinach pasta salad. So maybe your kids are home, maybe you're just needing some bulk cooking so that you can take something to work every day. But this makes a really large batch, so large in fact that we don't have a bowl big enough. <laughs> so we're going to make, bowl. we need a very large bowl. And so we're going to make half a batch, okay? okay. So good. we have half a bag of salad and, or excuse me, fresh spinach, spinach. not just salad. Okay. And then on that we're putting about a third of a cup of olive oil, oops, that's all right. Just a little bit on the counter it's and a quarter cup, right, and a quarter cup of vinegar. So I'm using a white balsamic vinegar. Okay. You could use a white wine vinegar. Um, if you were going to use something like an apple cider vinegar, mm -hmm. you might want to use some a little bit less because it is very acidic. Because of the different taste, basically. Yeah, because of the different acidity. Okay. Okay, and so this is green onion and chopped green olive. And again, we're just going to do about half of that. Okay. This is two um, bell peppers, actually, it's three and we chopped it up. So we have red, yellow, and green. Okay. And, and again, is this something like if you didn't have these specific things, but oh, sure. you I can throw it in, mix it up? Yes, I mean, I was even thinking that like broccoli would be a good addition or um, cauliflower, but you know, I'm trying to limit the ingredients, but you can swap anything out, right? Okay, okay and so then on top of that goes the hot pasta. And we'll just see how much of this that we can actually get <laughs> We in can here. fit in our bowl. Right. But again, it's like you said, because it's summer, you know, you're busy, you've got cookouts, you're going to work. I mean, there's different things happening. If you can put this all together in a big batch, then you've got it and you can right. easily use it for whatever you may have coming up. Yes, and so this is gonna be a little bit difficult to get it all stirred up while we're standing here. But the hot pasta is important because it's gonna wilt that spinach just a little bit. Okay. And the whole thing is going to, um, going to lessen in volume quite a bit once I get it all stirred up. <laughs> once everything kind of comes together. Yes. Um, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and then I have a lemon over here okay. because I think a little lemon zest and even lemon juice at the end. Mm -hmm. If you taste it and you're like, that's a little me, then you could just add a little zest and juice and it'll be totally delicious. And that's just giving it a little more, I guess for lack of a better, a little more tang, yeah, a, a little, little more, more flavor. flavor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so this is going to be great with your grilled chicken, fish, shrimp, and then even like canned tuna is a great thing to add on top of it. So if you wanted to throw a little extra protein in mm -hmm. there, you could easily do that, make it a meal right. in addition to a side and everything else. Right. Okay, perfect. Right. This is awesome. I know this is my chance to take a bite. That's so right. that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep, keep wilting stirring. the spinach over here. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so good. I think it has that whole, light. I was just going to say that light summery feel. Right. It's perfect. Good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you as always. If you want to learn more about this recipe or any of the other recipes, go ahead and head to kjrh.com.